As much as we want all applications updated, we need to be careful about how we introduce a new patch update into the application environment. The trick is to protect your systems as much as possible from vulnerabilities without putting them at a different risk from untested patches. In this video, we will see the automation process of testing and approving patches before mass deployment to endpoint. The test and approve feature in Patch Manager Plus broadly consists of three steps where you can choose an approval mode, create a test group, and choose the applications for which you would want to test. To do that, navigate to the Deployment tab from the dashboard. And on the left-hand side, underneath Deployment, you will have Test and Approve. Please click here. Once you do so, you will arrive at this page, and here you can click the Modify option, and you will then see the different ways of approving your patches. If you want the patches to be automatically approved without testing, right after its release, you can choose this option. However, if you want the patches to be first tested and then approved, you can choose this option. Once you do that, you'll be asked what to do with the existing patches. If you want existing patches to retain the approval status, you can select this option. And if you want to mark the patches as not approved, then select this. Then click Save. The next section lets you create a test group consisting of selected machines in which you would like to test the newly released patches. As you can see, there are test groups that have already been created. To create a new one, click here. Now, choose the platform in which you want to create a test group. Here you can choose a custom group or create your own new group. Next, we have the deployment option where you can choose the type of updates that you want to deploy and test. You can choose Microsoft applications or third-party applications. In the Microsoft Update section, we have security updates of varying severities, such as critical, important, or moderate. You can also choose the type of updates which include non-security updates, service packs, roll-ups, and so on. Similarly, you can choose all applications or include specific applications or exclude specific applications. Next, we move on to the deployment setting where you can choose to apply a deployment policy or you can create your own policy using this option. To see how the deployment policies can help you with your patching requirements, please visit our Flexible Deployment Policies page. Next, we have the notification settings, which are of course optional. So if you enable them, please ensure to include your email address in this box here. Then comes the most important approval mode for tested patches. This feature lets you test the stability of the patches by choosing to wait for a few days before approving them. By selecting this option and specifying the number of days here, for example three, then the patches installed in the test machines will only be approved after three days, indicating that the stability is confirmed. So, after you configure these settings, click Create, and that is how you automatically test and approve your patches for deployment. Try a 30-day free trial of Manage Engine Patch Manager Plus and see for yourself how easy it is to keep your endpoints secure. Happy patching!